Hello Hunt Chef Nation. Today we're going to show you how to make lettuce wraps with venison flank steak, jasmine rice, and lots of flavorful goodies. And we're going to pair it all with a gorgeous California Chardonnay. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors. And remember, always eat what you kill. Garrett Ayersman from over to Flippin' Bucks had a beautiful bow kill doe in West Virginia and uh, we broke it all down we showed you how we got to this point here earlier today and now we're gonna get it in the wok and we're gonna make beautiful and delicious lettuce wraps so first thing we're gonna turn the heat up under our wok to pretty high we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil there to keep everything moving around and these great strips of venison flank steak that we showed you this morning um, where it comes from on the animal, how to clean them up, and then how to cut them really thinly across the grain. Uh, from here we could have marinated these, but we've got enough flavor going on that uh, this dish is not going to lack, I promise you. So now we're just going to put our flank steak strips in. That's enough for right now. And you can tell that wok's hot. It's ready to go. We're going to keep this on the flame, and this whole dish is going to move along really quickly. We've already got our jasmine rice cooked up here in our saucepan. It's ready to go. It's just waiting to be dressed with a little bit of rice vinegar. We'll show you how to do that in just a moment or two. But right now, we want to get some color on our venison flank sticks. Ramcat's HydroShock self-centering chisel tip with patented deep lobes creates a hydrofoil, forcing body mass outward, providing the deepest penetration available. Ramcat, hits like a ram, cuts like a cat. Our venison's cooking along quickly here in the wok. As I mentioned before, we had our jasmine rice cooked over here, and we're just gonna, it's so fragrant. I love jasmine rice, especially in a dish like this. A little bit of rice vinegar we're going to drizzle in there and we're just going to stir that around. You'd be amazed at adding that little bit of acidity uh, from the rice vinegar, how much it parks the rice up. And it'll actually help us keep the grains separated. And wow, that smells awesome. So we've got that ready to go. We're going to keep it, put it back over here and keep it hot. And we've got some carrot and some bell pepper that we're going to slice really thinly that we'll top off the uh, lettuce wraps with. I'm just going to move this white rib out of here on that. And then make nice thin julienne out of the pepper. And we'll do the same with the carrots. And we're just going to use these guys as some fresh flavor and crunch right on top of the wraps. Guys are ready to go. Our beef is just about, our, our speed beef, our venison flank steak is just about ready for the next round of flavor. So to this we're going to add a little bit of crushed garlic. Into there, we're going to give it some pepper flake for some heat. Oh, just like that. We've got some great brown coriander that, you know, the seed from the cilantro plant. going to be some great flavor in there for us. We've got some broccoli. Let's trim these guys down just a little bit. Cook that in there with the beef. All right. Some sauce. Smells like lunch already. Now, we've got some great low sodium soy sauce. Add that. Got a little bit of apple juice. It's going to help balance that soy. Just like that. And sweet and spicy is how I like these. So we've got some white sugar here. We're going to sprinkle that over. 
It's going to do two things. One, it's going to sweeten the dish up some, and the other, as it reduces, it's going to help thicken it, the uh, sauce as well. We've got our peanuts. We're going to put some of these in here to cook, and we'll save some for some raw crunch on the wraps themselves as they're ready to come out and go into the lettuce and be put together. All right, we're going to bring this to a boil, let it reduce just a bit, and then we'll be ready to put our lettuce wraps together. That is ready. We're going to kill the heat. We're going to get our lettuce cups. And one of the neat things about these is, as long as they'll hold it, you're perfect. We're going to trade this one out for this one right here. We've got our jasmine rice that we boiled off, and then we hit it with the uh, rice vinegar just a little bit in the bottom of each. Now you can also use this rice cooked and seasoned like this cold for the same type of wrap application. Now, we've got our venison flank steak with the peanuts, the broccoli, the soy, apple juice, and it smells absolutely delicious. A little bit of sauce to infiltrate that rice. Oh, there's a mess. That's okay. We're having fun. It's alright if you make a little bit of a mess. Now, that guy, let's see. <laughs> Perfect. You can even eat the mess with this dish. Alright, so now, a couple of carrot sticks, fresh flavor and crunch, a couple of pieces of bell pepper, you eat with your eyes. You're going to dress it up nice for your friends and family and dinner guests. Those guys in there get some great green onion to finish it on either one and what I really like is to put in just the whole sprig of fresh cilantro right there inside it. It's nothing but flavor. The stem tastes just like the leaves. Some black sesame seeds for some crunch followed by a little more crunch from your salted peanuts and we have an awesome snack, appetizer, lunch, any time of day or night, venison lettuce wraps, using flank steak, jasmine rice, and all the goodies in there. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors and remember, always eat what you kill.